I think, I don't think because it keeps being said by Kenya or her team or it's out there. It's, I don't even know if she said this, the blind items that she's going to sue for discrimination because, you know, of Tom and Ariana and Raquel Levis and the revenge porn. To me, it is not the same thing. Now, if you sue someone, of course, you throw everything in the kitchen sink in the lawsuit. It is, again, not the same thing for me. What Tom did and what Ariana did has absolutely nothing to do with Andy Cohen. It has absolutely nothing to do with NBC. It has absolutely nothing to do with Bravo. It was done off-site. Rachel Levis is suing both of them. If I were Rachel Levis, I would sue both of them. I think Rachel Levis has a great case against Ariana. I believe it was disseminated. I don't know if it was disseminated. If it is, I think she's fucked. I don't know if we're ever going to hear about this case. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it wasn't disseminated. I find that hard to believe that you were just cheated on and so in such a rage that you wouldn't send this video. I, I just don't believe it. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Is not the same case to me. The same case to me is Jennifer Aiden. That is the same case to me. I can't believe how, and look, I mean, everyone have your opinion. I thought it was clear cut with Candace and Monique. And I love Candace and I love Monique. They were both wonderful to me on this podcast. I don't understand how so many people are on. Well, I mean, I do understand your team, Teresa. I get it. The tree huggers, the huggers in the back. We have some huggers in the back today. Hi, huggers. There's some huggers in the back row. Welcome, huggers. We we welcome tree huggers here. We don't care. We love tree huggers. But you're on Jennifer's side because you're huggers. Now, I see things clearly. I don't have a side. And to me, Jennifer committed assault. If I were Danielle, I would have actually sued Jennifer. I don't care about Bravo. I don't care about Teresa, Jackie. I personally, if you put your hands on me, I will not retaliate. I will not throw a drink on you, plastic or glass cup. I will not speak back to you. I will pick myself up. If you push me, like Jennifer pushed her, I would pick myself up. I would very calmly walk towards the door. Teresa would run after me. I would probably tell Bill that he's sleeping with the devil like she did. Then I would get in my car. Then I would drive down to the police station and then I would file charges of assault. That was assault. That is the actual legal definition of it. When someone's hands go on someone else. So anyone out there, you don't like me, you don't like what you're listening to now. If you see me in public, please put your hands on me, please, because we. this is how it will end. I will not get mad. So I don't understand, A, how Danielle Cabral is not suing Jennifer Aiden. Housewives can sue housewives. If it's criminal, can't contract those rights away, despite what the NBC contract says, even before Bethany's reality reckoning. That's a housewife cannot sue another housewife thanks to, thanks to Danielle Staub for civil matters. Because imagine if you could, they would all be suing each other. When it's criminal, it's a whole different thing. So if I were Danielle, I would have sued Jennifer Aiden. That's honestly what I would have done. Where are you, Danielle? Because I would go sue Jennifer Aiden. That's my honest opinion. I mean, it's a saw. She pushed you. It's very clear. Roll tape. But to me, that is the double standard, how these two were suspended and now they're back at work. Now, Jennifer Aiden has basically lost her job, I, I'm assuming. I mean, I believe Bravo has already cut ties with her. I believe she did not do any press this season. I believe that she is part of the reason why we're not having a reunion in addition to everything else, I believe a lot of things about why we're not having a reunion other than the bullshit that Andy told us that 10 people watched it and 10 people think we have closure because we always have closure. I believe it's all this stuff going on in the real world with Louie. I believe everything about the bloggers and Teresa. Margaret would bring that up. She'd bring up all the stuff with Vinavia and Louie. They want it back, Teresa. They're not going to get rid of Teresa. But I really do believe that part of the reason we're not having a reunion is we've already parted ways with Jennifer Aiden. I don't see her coming back. Danielle has just made a post. It's a very cryptic post where she basically says the truth will always prevail. And then she does tag Bravo at the end. There are two ways to read Danielle's post. If I could find it, I would read it now if we still have time. I don't know if we do. But there are two ways to read her post. One is that like we all watch the episode and it's very clear now that Jennifer is in the wrong and another way to read Danielle's post is she too has been parted ways with by Bravo and neither of them are coming back. 
again, that is what happens a lot of times when um, something like this happens and, you know, there's two sides and people could say Danielle got up in her face first. And I mean, let's face it, Danielle ain't having the best season edit wise. So um, just trying to find this. So I'm not so sure that, you know, Bravo considers it any loss. I think they see her as at this point, um, a throwaway housewife, kind of like Jenny N from Salt Lake when we found past racially insensitive tweets and wanted to make a case out of her because she was not vital to the show, even though we kept Ramona Singer. See, because we have those double standards. Um, I really thought I just found this. I can read this to you. Danielle, 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 where is her post? She she said that here's what she posted a picture of herself and she said it's real this is after the episode it's really hard for me to say that i'll miss her all that much i mean she has a picture of herself there um presumably she's talking about jennifer as they say on broadway the show must go on for a year we sat in silence as the lies spread like wildfire hit after hit lie after lie we held on to our truth the lies are always loud the truth is always silent silence is powerful and she tags Bravo in this. The last person you want to mess with is me. Trust me when I tell you Tulum is the tip of the iceberg. Um, I don't know. So it, it's like, basically what I'm saying is Danielle's post could be read as a, by Jennifer, fuck you. Could also be like a way of saying, we've also parted ways with Danielle. Regardless, regardless, I've just gone very off track here on a quick hit. Regardless, they were suspended and then we saw the tape of Jennifer using her hands and then she returned to work. So I believe if it were me, if I were Danielle, I would have gone to the police station. I would have filed charges of assault. And if I were in that situation, I would think Jennifer Aiden would not return to work and Danielle would. I really personally don't think it matters if you get up in someone's face. I truly don't. Everyone on this show gets up in someone's face. I think it's the hands. That's my thing. And I am team no one. But regardless, Jennifer and Danielle, for me, it's more Jennifer returned to work after that investigation and Kenya didn't. So I think if you're going to say this is wrongful, determin wrongful termination, see, to me, Kenya did violate the code of the codes of conduct. So if you say this is wrongful termination because I violated, you know, if you say this is wrongful termination and I were Bravo, I would say it is not. You violated the code of conduct. You see what I'm saying? You violated the code of conduct. It's not wrongful termination. Look what you did. Wrongful termination can be for a lot of reasons. One of them is discrimination. So if you can say, I was terminated because I'm in a protected class, alcoholic, gay, let's go on, I'm black, other people are white, and I was let go after an investigation, and these two other people were not because they're white, this is discrimination, it's wrongful termination due to discrimination, I think now there could be a case. Look, do I think Kenya's case is strong? I do not. Do I think Carolyn Manzo's case is strong? I do. Do I think Carolyn Manzo is getting a bunch of money in her bank account at the end of all this? I do. Do I think if it's not, you know, $10 million or $8 million or something crazy, it's actually going to go to court? I do. I still think Carolyn Manzo has the greatest case and it's either going to be the case is dismissed because she got money in her bank account, hush, 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 or it goes to trial. I think she's getting money. Leah McSweeney, I think, has the second great case. She's a documented alcoholic in a protected class. Brandy hasn't even filed a lawsuit, nor do I think she has a claim of anything. Bethany is off starting 